Number 43, calculate the enthalpy of the solution, aka the delta H for the dissolution, per mole of CaCl2, which is calcium chloride, and then it says refer to exercise 5.25. So that's what I did for you guys. I went back to exercise 5.25, and I wrote down the information that we're going to need to answer this problem. So the enthalpy of the solution, remember this is not the reaction, the enthalpy of the solution was 2.2 kilojoules, and in order for that 2.2 kilojoules to be absorbed, because it's a positive number, three grams of the calcium chloride were used. So now we have to say to ourselves, okay, we want to calculate the enthalpy. Well, what is enthalpy? Enthalpy is delta H. I kind of make the connection between enthalpy and delta H because of the H in enthalpy. There's going to be something called entropy coming up uh, you know, in probably the next couple of chapters. So a lot of students get confused between enthalpy and entropy. The H in enthalpy alludes to the delta H. And if we keep with this delta, you know, this H idea, enthalpy or delta H is basically the amount of heat that is either absorbed or uh, released per one mole of whatever substance you're either combusting or performing a reaction with. Now, delta H enthalpy has very specific units, and the units for delta H or enthalpy is always kilojoule per mole. So basically what we have to do here is we just have to find out how many kilojoules were in this reaction in 5.25, how many moles, and then we just divide the two. Now, the easy part, we found out how many, uh, we found out how much heat was absorbed right? We found out that in that reaction, there was 2.2 kilojoules that were going to be absorbed in the solution. So that's cool. But now we got to find out the moles. Well, they, they told us that there was 3.0 grams of the calcium chloride. So how do I go from grams to moles? That's so easy, right? That's so like first test. <laughs> All we got to do is convert, right? So 3.0 grams of the calcium chloride, multiply by the ratio, throw the unit that you don't want on the other side. So grams of CaCl2 is going to go on the bottom. We want to convert to moles of CaCl2, right? And then remember, if we're going from grams to moles of the same compound, that's always the periodic table. And when you're using the periodic table, there's always one mole. The molar mass is going to be in the gram part. So I'm just going to go to my periodic table. I'm going to find out the molar mass of CaCl2, and I'm just going to put it down. So let's see. I just need to get my periodic table out. Here it is. Beautiful. So calcium, uh, 40.08, and then I got two chlorines, so two times 35.45. So I get 110.98. Grams cancel out. We're left with moles. So 3 divided by that number, and I get 0 0.270 0 moles of the calcium chloride, CaCl2. So that's this number. Okay, now we're ready to just do the math. So kilojoules, 2.2, and the moles, 0 0.270. And notice, guys, that these units are completely different. One's kilojoules, uh, amount of heat or energy, and the other one is a unit of quantity. It's moles. They do not cancel, so that's why the unit is kilojoules per mole. So 2.2 divided by 0.27. I get roughly, let me just see. Oop, I'm going back. I see that, did you catch that, guys? This was supposed to be... 0 0.027. So hold on, let me just let me just fix that. Thank good thank goodness I caught it, but this is this is, you know, a good example to see how just double check your work because sometimes there's silly mistakes. You know, we don't mean to make silly mistakes, but sometimes we make them. But just make sure that you go back and check. And now yeah, now this looks better. So this is 81 kilojoules per mole. 
And that is the final answer. So for every one mole of the calcium chloride that you have, you will be able to absorb 81 joules or 81 kilojoules of heat for the solution. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. And I hope you're doing well in your classes and good luck on all your tests and quizzes, all right? I'm rooting for you guys. And I'll talk to you in later lessons, all right? See you then. Have a great day. Bye-bye.